Hi Aries, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And it is general, so the messages might be a little general, and it's not going to resonate for all of you. If you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Alright, so let's see, what are the overall energies for Aries in mid-May? Alright, we have deception and we have solitude. Okay, so the way that this is coming through is that... Um, Okay, it could be taken very, very literally. There may have been some deception that has recently happened. And because of that, you are taking some time alone. You are, you're feeling alone. All right, but I'm also getting that for some of you, this is um, a little bit of somebody denying themselves of that time alone in order to really um, process certain things or come to a certain... Um, understanding all right that can only happen when you are in solitude so i'm seeing that as a deception of the solitude if that makes sense all right so it could be either or take it as it makes sense for you and we'll see now once we get into the details here so aries sun moon rising and venus for mid-may Alright, so for your energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Hermit. Alright, so it looks like you... Okay, this is interesting because I feel like for you, you actually are feeling pretty good about your own self. You're feeling um, independent, or at least you're trying to. And I actually feel like this has come after you have moved away from a situation that was causing you conflict, all right? So I'm not saying that you're not... Um, <clears throat> still involved with this person for some of you you definitely could be but for the most part what i'm seeing here especially also with the hermit is actually you are in solitude so i don't feel like like what i said um before actually applies to you so for you it could definitely be that you know you feel like because there's a deception going on or that has happened and this deception does not necessarily mean cheating okay it could be anything it could be somebody not um, really living up to their truth or to their promises or to, you know, whatever whatever the case may have been for you, all right? So just some sort of a deception has led you to this solitude type of an energy because we have two cards that are telling me that, all right? Um, you moved away from the connection. You could still be involved with this person, as I said, um, but it's like you're keeping this distance, like you're still keeping to your own self, regardless. So let's see for them, we have the Four of Wands, the Magician, and the Five of Swords. Okay, well, there's that deception. All right. Okay, so I feel like for the, mo for the most part, for most of you, it's not going to be the second scenario that I said about um, deceiving the solitude. If that is the case, I feel like it is for this other person down here. Okay, for the most part though, I do feel like somebody has not really been um, living up to their truth or they may have been deceiving their own self when it comes to this connection because I do feel like they do feel this bond with you. All right, it's not that this person doesn't want you. It's not that this person doesn't want the connection. If anything, I feel like they feel like they belong with you. They feel like there's this very strong bond and foundation, a structure um between the two of you and this is something that they have wanted to manifest in some way however it's like they were or they've been doing things that are actually um either backfiring or just not in alignment with what with what they are trying to manifest so let's see what is what is coming up here in the near future we have the justice the moon 
and the chariot okay wow so three major arcana here for the near future which is telling me that you know big things are happening first of all just starting this off with the with the justice card there's either a major major decision or something really beginning to come into balance i do feel like it might be something that is going to be hidden from you something you might not necessarily be aware of and i also feel like whatever this is whatever this decision is that is being made it is something that does also create some doubt it might create some fears it's not the easiest of energies to actually deal with but regardless of that there is action being taken here based on that decision all right, so let's actually clarify and get some more details here. All right, so let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles for your energy. Eight of Swords, the Two of Cups, and Temperance. All right, yeah, so I feel like what, what it is that you came out of is there was something that, in this connection, that was really making you overthink things, overanalyze things, maybe even feeling a little bit obsessive because you also felt the connection with this person just as they, just as they feel for you. And I feel that it was getting to the point where it was making you feel like you were losing your balance, all right? And there, there was that time period. Um, and I feel like now though, this is something that affected you so negatively that you decided to just get out of it because you could feel yourself just getting trapped. So for some of you, it could even be that this is a person from your past and you know maybe they showed back up into your lives and you started just getting close, trying to keep your distance. But once you realize that, okay, it feels like, you know, I'm getting really sucked into this again, you were able to kind of pull your energy away. Um, and I mean, and I feel like, again, it's, it's for good reason if you feel like this person is being deceptive to the connection or in any way. And if it's not, if it's not good for you. Clarify the Six of Swords. And for some of you, it doesn't necessarily have to be that this person came back. It could be that this is just what, what you've done. It could be the first time. All right. Justice the hermit again, and judgment. Okay, wow, yeah, so this was a major decision for you, I feel, to um, to move away from this and to keep to yourself and to kind of just make sure that you keep your independence, that you don't get into a codependency type of an energy um, within this connection. Again, because it feels like there was a point in time where it felt that way for you. And what I'm seeing here is that by you deciding to move away from that because it was creating too much conflict in your life and just really disrupting your emotional balance. I feel like this is saying that this is actually, this was actually in your highest good. This is something that is helping to keep you balanced. And it's like, you feel like you're, like you're a new person. You were reborn and you're not going back to old, to old patterns here or to um, repeating old cycles. All right, so let's see. Let's see for them. Let's clarify the four of wands. All right, we have the seven of swords and strength. Yeah, so see, so there's that like deceptive -y type of an energy coming through again with the seven of swords. This person did not act um, in a way that was in, in alignment with basically with how they feel for this connection. All right. It's like the feelings are there, the emotions are there, the bond is there, the desire is there, but there was this like just, um, elusiveness, this, this always feeling like they were just somehow sneaking away, um, from this connection. And I feel like it was done in a very like stubborn type of, of a way. Um, could have been a lack of strength, a lack of courage, 
for this person to actually face up to, you know, what it is that they, that they are feeling here. Um, however, like I said, I feel like this was something that they wanted to manifest, but what ended up happening because they kept going about it in a way that wasn't, um, efficient and it wasn't authentic the way that they were going about it almost like you know maybe waiting for things to just kind of magically happen on their own for example or you know waiting um i don't know for for a third person to actually you know come in and and do something to help bring this about and it just doesn't work that way like this person is going to have to really face up to what it is that is keeping them back from what it is that they truly desire here. So let's see the Five of Swords. All right, the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, see, so it's like this person just kept turning their back on, on what their desire really is. Um, again, it's going to be different for all of them. I don't know why they were doing this. I feel like let me clarify the magician. The Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is just confirmation of how they feel about you, right? There's a lot of love here. They're seeing you as this Queen of Wands, which is, you know, also in your element. Um, just very, very desirable. There's a lot of passion here as well as a lot of love. This is something, again, I feel like the, this person was just hoping that it would just kind of manifest itself, that this commitment would just kind of um, happen, even though this person was um, just being deceptive in, in, in some way. And that deception is what kept causing them in some way to turn their back on this in a way that made you eventually be like, you know what? Like, I have to move away from this energetically just for, <laughs> for my sanity. All right. And I mean, and I feel like, you know, currently, I mean, this is the current energy. I do feel like, you know, this is what is currently also um, happening here. But I do see this huge shift here coming up so let's actually see let's clarify these let's see justice all right the world and the page of swords so there's a first step that is being taken here for a decision that involves closing out a cycle. So something there's something here that needs to um, really close out, that really needs to end, be completed. And I feel like whatever that is, it is. <laughs> uh, it's something that does feel complete and it's just a matter of this person really letting it, really making the decision to, okay, let it go now. Let it go, it's done. Lessons are learned. Um, from there on out, it's really just a matter of this fear of fully closing out that chapter of their lives. Let's see the moon. The Ten of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so a lot of the um, a lot of the fear here is that there there has been a fear of actual happiness. Possibly even with you. And I feel like that is actually still going to be present. So this might be something to be mindful of um, coming up. And it could even be, this could even be for you. Um, that, you know, should this person come around, should there be this decision that is made? Because, you know, I'm seeing that a lot of cycles have been closed out. And this person is making the decision to actually move forward now from that, okay, with that page of swords. And so this could be you having doubts as to whether this is actually happening. And not only that, almost, you know, having this, this anxiety concerning, you know, can I really find happiness here? Because I feel like you're really, um, 
beginning to feel really good on your own. You're feeling good. It may have been painful, but you are feeling good on your own. And so now what is going to come up is that once this person <laughs> comes around, you're going to be like, do I really want this? Can I really be happy with this? Like it's, it's, it's a little stressful. There's a little of a hesitation there. Let me see the chariot. All right. The two of swords and the ace of swords. I see this moving forward. I see this moving forward in a new direction here, um, regardless regardless of the hesitations, like you might not, you know, agree on everything. So certain things might not be um, a hundred percent resolved when it comes to little things, like how are we going to work this out and what are we going to do about that, you know, and, you know, just little minor things. But I feel like regardless of that, you know, it's, it's kind of like saying here that you don't have to agree on absolutely everything. But just make sure that, you know, there is a mutual agreement, consent, and that there is trust when it comes to things that are significant and things that are really important to you. So, yeah, let me get a, just a final message here from Tara and then I will we'll pull from an Oracle deck. We have the King of Cups. Yeah. So there's a lot, there's a lot of love here. I feel like this is a very strong connection and that there's just um, some obstacles that both of you needed to face. It just feels like at the moment, it's mostly the other person here, okay? Unless the roles are reversed. But I do see that their emotions for you are very, very genuine. All right, so Aries, if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and let's get your final Oracle message. All right, and we have support. Ask for help, get more rest, nurture yourself. All right, yeah, so if you're feeling, if you're feeling, I feel like this is more for the, um, for the upcoming future, actually. And even now, you know, if you need rest, definitely get some rest, definitely nurture yourself. But if in the upcoming future, you're feeling doubtful, you're not sure what decision to make because I also do see a little bit of indecision here. Um, don't, don't be afraid to ask for help from the divine, from your spirit team, okay, from your higher self and you will get the answers. So, all right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.